Hey guys, what's up? My name is Vivian. I'm so happy that you're here. Thank you, thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to be doing the very well-known assumptions video. Let's see if I'm emotional or sensitive at all. I try not to be. I try not to take many things to heart in this atmosphere, um, but who knows? We'll see. So let's go ahead and let's just get started. Before, oh, before we start, I always forget this part. Before we start, go ahead and just subscribe. And uh, if you enjoyed it, like this video at the end. Give Give it a comment um, let me know what you thought all right so let's go ahead and let's just get started the first one is it says you have a great relationship with your family so this one I the assumption is true I have a really great relationship with my family I do though really struggle with a balance so obviously I live at home I work from home I work from my room and I really don't know when work stops so that uh, has been really really challenging for me to continue having that amazing relationship with my family because sometimes I just feel really overwhelmed and I feel like uh, I should I should be with them but also I'm working so it's been really tricky and I can be really grumpy sometimes um, but overall I have an amazing family and their support is just unmatched and I literally like, I love them I would not be able to do what I'm doing without them um, so yes I would say your assumption is correct you are sassier in real life than you show on your stories this assumption is a hundred percent true I am very sassy um, I won't say all the time but I can be very sassy I definitely I mean I curse I keep my Instagram a very personal but professional um, and that's something that I really consciously do um, I really don't let myself slip many on many occasions I try to keep it very very personal things to myself um, which who knows what that might be down the line if that will change um, but for right now I keep it professionally personal um, that's the way I want to say it, professionally personal um, so yeah I really don't I try I think that on YouTube right now like I want to show you more of my sassiness and my humor and things like that I just feel like Instagram doesn't really give me that time to do it maybe now with IGTV but um, yeah I would say I'm a hundred percent definitely can be very sassy in person so definitely assumption is true I'm incredibly entrepreneurial uh, and family oriented so I already talked about the family oriented uh, but the entrepreneur in me has honestly been surprising and been a shock to me um, as much as it has my family I feel like there was always a part of me that wanted to do something more and wanted to do something bigger and wanted to do something by myself um, but I, I mean I studied bio and medicine and nursing um, and I never really thought that I would have my own business or be my own business um, or start you know creating products and projects in mine that I have so uh, this is all new for me I'm really excited to kind of let that creativity come out of me and kind of that girl boss like that's really cool and I'm proud of myself for feeling those ways and for letting myself um, develop in that area of my life um, so yeah so I wouldn't say that I'm 100% um, an entrepreneur but uh, I really like the fact that I'm starting to think of myself as one you must have a boyfriend because you are cute AF so I do not have a boyfriend uh, I think I answered this in my Q&A and nothing has changed within the past three months that I filmed that um, I don't have a boyfriend I am not completely closed off to having a relationship but I also at this point in time my so much of my energy and effort and time um, is spent either with my family with my very close friends or most importantly myself I'm in a very 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 selfish um, part of my life right now and so yeah so I don't really go out of my way to find someone um, if it was the love of my life that came knocking on my door uh, by all means I would check it out <laughs> but I don't I'm not going knocking on everyone's door <laughs> that even makes sense? I have no idea. You don't want to use your nursing degree anymore. Uh, this one is tough. I know in my Q&A I said that uh, currently not pursuing nursing but doesn't mean that it's 
not a thought or still a dream of mine. Um, and I will have to reiterate that, I think, for this assumption. The assumption is partially true though. I am just extremely happy doing what I'm doing right now. Um, and I just feel so in control and, well, most of the time. Um, and just really like, I don't know. I just feel really good doing what I'm doing. Um, and I think that I still feel fulfillment with helping others, which if I wasn't feeling, I think that I would have jumped right back into nursing. Um, but more than all the superficial things, like when I get messages saying, thank you so much for either, you know, motivating me to exercise or thank you so much for helping me so much for a first date outfit um, I felt so comfortable and myself and I felt happy and happy and the date went great the date went so well um, like I I feel happiness and I feel I feel fulfillment so nursing right now um, is ah it, like I get nervous saying this but it's definitely not a priority right now that doesn't mean I'm still gonna keep my license. That doesn't mean that I won't ever pursue nursing. Um, but for right now, I'm just trying to figure it out and I'm just riding this wave because it brings me immense joy. Um, so that is how I'm gonna answer that assumption. You're shy in real life. This assumption is probably false. Um, I am super outgoing, I would say. Um, but I would also say I'm an extroverted introvert. So I love my alone time. I love my me time um, But in this very social settings, I am yeah, I, I talk a lot. I say hi to people um, because you never know what's gonna happen. You never know who you can meet and what connection you can have. Um, so I just try to have that mentality and I just think naturally, yes, I am more so outgoing than I am not. So shy, I don't, like if you, if you ask my family, they'd be like, oh hell no, like you are not shy at all. Um, but there are definitely certain instances, circumstances, situations that I'm definitely shy. Um, but yeah, all around, not shy. You are book smart. This assumption is, I would say it's true. Um, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you know, okay, the way that I'll answer this one is that uh, when it came to school, I really worked hard and I tried really hard. Being book smart, like it didn't come easy to me. Um, so maybe I'm not book smart, I don't know. You always look so put together and cute all the time. Uh, <laughs> I'm in my nightgown right now. Can you see it? and like huge yoga pants. Can you see those? This is me. Um, my hair is up. It says you are a very calm person. I would say that this is, if this assumption is true, but depending on who you ask, it might be false. I do think that I am very calm. I think that I am very level-headed. Um, when there is a conflict or there is someone who's coming to me to ask for advice, the first things that I always say are, okay, take a deep breath and take a step back and just make sure you are coming from a very calm place. Um, so I definitely, oh wow, I have a very itchy itch. I definitely, and my eyes are tearing. I definitely do think that I am calm. Um, maybe not so much in my earlier years, but I do think I'm very rational, um, which helps with making me calm. You'd still be skinny if fit, even without working out. Uh, to this, I will say 100% false. I have, unfortunately, my dad's genes, and my dad loves to eat, I love to eat, and my dad gains weight very easily, and I gain weight very easily. Um, I am a very petite person, I am a 5'2", and if I put on a couple pounds, it is noticeable. So I love to indulge, I love a very balanced diet, I definitely have my sweets and you know my cravings, and I definitely go for those very good yummy treats, but for the majority of the time, I know that I have to, I have to eat, and also like heart issues and heart problems and cholesterol and things like that, like I know that I have to eat, um, relatively healthy um, so yeah so sometimes I do I'm not gonna be ashamed I do weigh myself um, to just kind of keep me in check and to know and sometimes you know if I go on vacation okay I don't I don't check because I have accepted the fact that I'm going to enjoy myself on this vacation um, but yeah to the assumption I do I if I don't work out trust me you will see it my freshman year of college 
yikes. Freshman 15 was real, like very real. I literally gained 15 pounds, so <laughs> there, there goes that. You seem like such a strong and independent gal. This assumption is 100% true. I, but it hasn't always been that way. Um, I have, ever since my breakup, I have just kind of flipped a switch and I have become very independent um, and very strong. I'm not going to be shy about that. Um, I went through a complete heartbreak and um, yeah, everything from it, I've just been so proud of myself. Um, so I would 100% say that assumption is true. I am a strong, independent, I'm a strong, independent woman. <laughs> You come from money, lots of money. This assumption is false. Um, I wouldn't say that we come from, or I come from lots of money um, at all. I think my parents worked really hard to give uh, their kids an amazing upbringing. Um, and I, you know, I think we were so lucky and we still are so lucky, but it was never just an easy ride of, you know, oh yeah, you could do whatever the heck you want to do. You can go buy whatever the heck you want to do. Like that was never the case. So I'm happy that it wasn't, you know, just handed to me and that we had to work for, you know, what we wanted. Um, and to be appreciative also when my parents were very kind enough to give us something that, you know, we, we didn't necessarily have to work so hard for. So, um, yeah, that's how I'm going to answer that one. <laughs> very optimistic. This assumption is true. I feel like Literally, the sky's the limit. Glass is half full. There's always, you know, another option. Yeah, optimism is... I love optimism. I love being an optimist. So that's... that assumption is true, yes. Um, you don't work yet to have a ton of money. Okay, this assumption is false. I know that sometimes uh, what appears to be, um, you know, someone on social media, um, you know, doing nothing or just storing their day to day, this and that, whatever, like takes no work, but behind everything that I do is pretty much a strategy. Um, and I've learned so much, uh, you know, being a business owner and knowing marketing and PR and contracts and, uh, just everything. There's so much more to it than what you see. Um, and that could be a whole entire video on its own, but I definitely, I always say like, even though it doesn't look like I'm working, I promise you I am. Um, so yeah, so that assumption is false. I work a ton. You can ask my family. Um, I'm always working. I feel like your parents don't like the fact that you are on social media or that social media is your job. I just think that they seem old fashioned. This assumption honestly used to be true and now it's false. Yay. Um, so my dad at first was not really keen on the fact that I was doing this. I don't think he really understood it. Um, but now he sees how much joy it brings me, how much, um, you know, people are engaging and what a difference I can make in someone's life. Um, and he also sees that I'm making money from it, which I'm just being very transparent here, um, was a huge, you know, factor like what are you doing you're on your phone a ton um, and you know are you making any money and so once I kind of showed him what I'm doing and he kind of opened up his mind and understood it and saw it um, he really came around and now he loves it and every time I get a package or anything like that or I post he's like go Phoebe you know so that's amazing to have the support that I mentioned before I'm so grateful to have my family support um, so yeah so they definitely love it and they're here for it um, he definitely tells me put down your phone you know like you've had enough um, so I try to and that's another thing like I said I'm working on the balance but um, overall they are they are accepting and um, and they're, they're okay with it I'm gonna end up on this one because this is um, this is false this one says you're always happy and seem to have a perfect life so to that I say uh, I mentioned this in my Instagram stories the other day I'm like 80% happy all the time and there are definitely times where I'm 20% not happy um, so the 80 20 I think is a really good balance I have bad days I struggle with frustration I struggle with um, having anxiety of being overwhelmed and not lazy unmotivated so it definitely can get hard so I'm not hundred percent always happy um, and do I have a perfect life no not at all hundred percent wrong negative it's like not perfect in the least bit um, but that's okay I think 
Um, that's something that I want to talk about um, on these platforms is that it's okay if you're not, you know, you might be watching this and thinking, oh my God, yeah, like she has a great life or whoever it is you watch on, you know, social media. And I am telling you right now, it is not perfect um, at all, at all. Oh, like no one is perfect. Um, so I just want you to know that 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 assumption is completely wrong. Um, but 80% happy. I think that's I think that's a pretty good percentage of being happy. Um, but yeah, there's always those days that you're you know you're not feeling your best, and that's 100% okay. All right, guys, that is all. I hope that you enjoyed these assumptions. I hope that you learned something. I hope that you got to know me a little bit better. Um, if there was anything that kind of stuck out in your mind that I said um, or how I reacted, please go ahead and tell me. Um, if you have any other assumption questions or assumptions, not questions, that you want to make um, that I didn't answer, go ahead and write them in the comments below. I'll answer that um, just like I did here and we can continue a conversation. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up um, and like I said, go ahead and comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. I'll see you next time.